she started doing this as a bit of a hobby. She uses felt, a very specific kind of felt that takes advantage of recycled materials. And, uh, you know, it's almost Halloween. We're thinking about costumes. These are actually, were at one time available on the Downey's shop. And so I know I've admired them and my kids have tried them on. They are little costumes from nature. And you can see the smiles on the kids in the photos. They look like owls and they look like eagles and they look like bats. And the story of how this little side hustle has taken off for her um, was pretty interesting. Yeah, those costumes are so creative. I love them. All right, on to a feature about a young girl who already has her focus in life. It always impresses me when kids are, are you know, <laughs> zoned in as she is. Her name is Samantha Downs. She lives in Eddington. What is this girl all about? And what does she want to do when she gets older? She's a beekeeper. She's probably the state's youngest beekeeper, and she's really good at it. So our uh, contributing photographer, Michael D. Wilson, has been on a uh, mission to photograph beekeepers all around the state, kind of a fun personal project. He uh, found uh, uh, Elizabeth and uh, brought her to our attention, and she's just very driven. Her parents help her out with um, one or two things, but mostly she handles everything herself. She's got, I think it says 30,000 resident bees, and... Um, wants to make a career out of it. She's in elementary school. <laughs> she is impressive. All right, let's take a look at one of the longer stories that you have in the issue. And it's a look at the Moosehead region, its future, what it lies ahead for it. And it's illustrated with some absolutely breathtaking photographs. Yeah, you know, we try and get out and, and shoot foliage uh, every, every, every October. And we had uh, Benjamin Williamson, our staff photographer out in the Moosehead region this time last year, getting some of the fall color and wandering around with contributing editor Virginia Wright, who was a story on the Moosehead region. Um, this is a story that's been going on for decades. Uh, now, sort of going back to the drawing board for a regional planning initiative to kind of reassess what some of the parcels that were once part of this envisioned Plum Creek development, your, your viewers surely remember, um, you know, over a decade ago, what might be in store for them. So they are asking questions about how much development do we want and where do we want it and uh, how will it affect the character of this very, very special corner of Maine, America's crown jewel as it's now branded. And one more story that has remarkable photographs with it. It's about the schooner Bowden, which is the official state vessel of the state of Maine. It's part of the Maine Maritime Academy fleet. Tell me a little bit about this collection of photos and when they were taken. Yeah, so, you know, it's the uh, centennial of this amazing ship that was that was created for the purpose of, of Arctic exploration. Um, it has this rich history in Maine. It made, uh, I want to say, dozens of trips to the Arctic region, to Greenland, to Northern Labrador, to other parts of Arctic Canada. We got to talking with this fella, Tom Stewart, who is a photographer and artist up on the Blue Hill Peninsula. He was a Down East contributor back in the day in the 80s and 90s, and he rode along in the early 90s for these two triumphal return trips that the Bowdoin made to the Arctic and the subarctic region um, after it was acquired by Maine Maritime Academy, where it still is today. He was sitting on this astounding trove of photos, slides, obviously, pre-digital, um, from these trips and was kind enough to go through them for us dig out a bunch that have never before been published. We had them digitized over at the uh, Penobscot Marine Museum and were able to just kind of blow out a whole bunch of pages to look at the Bowdoin as it should be viewed. I think it's, it's greatest fans would tell you in the Arctic rather than on a dock in Maine. It's a little slice of history that people may not be familiar with, but I tell you, once you see those photos, you just want to want more. It, they're, they're just absolutely dazzling. It's a beautiful, beautiful ship, and it was photographed in a beautiful, stunning environment. And I think, you know, Tom, the photographer, would say it's an environment that's particularly relevant right now because it's undergone a lot of changes in, uh, in the past, you know, few decades. The Bowdoin was back in the Arctic in 2008. I know there are folks that would love to see it go there again. I'm sure the folks at Maine Maritime would love to facilitate that, and we'll see if it happens.